Earlier you said you're kind of just now getting into the adult film industry. Right. Um, when exactly did you start? And did you start your OnlyFans at the same time? So I started my OnlyFans first. Mm. Um, in what month, though? That was in April of this year. So it was a birthday thing. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just like, okay, it's my birthday. So here's my birthday suit. <laughs> good job, good job. I get, I get you, I get you. Yeah. Okay, so in April you started it, mm -hmm. the OnlyFans. And when you first started the OnlyFans, were you doing, I guess, scenes with other people? Not really. Just kind of showing pictures and videos of yourself. Yeah, it was just more solo stuff and nude, like, stuff. You know, that kind of thing. But I made sure I had enough content before I even opened the account because I knew, like, people would get really shitty if they just paid for, you know to even see your page and you only have like one or two things on there. Oh yeah. So I just kind of held out and just started shooting content every single day to kind of build that up and then I opened the account so yeah. people actually had stuff to look at. That's smart. That's good business. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's like if you're selling weed, make sure you get you some, <laughs> uh, some baggies and a scale and you all that type of shit. Make sure you're ready to go. You can't be unprepared. Yeah, for real. You know what I mean? You can always be unprepared and not be too prepared mm. that's a good point so yeah good game from <laughs> the sky <Skyster. laughs> <The Skyster. laughs> <laughs> i love it so, so what was the exact thing that them said that turned that switch to say hey i'm gonna do only fans now was um, it the pandemic or no no it was actually like a breakup to oh, be honest with you was in a relationship yeah how long uh we were together for about a year Okay, so what about the breakup drove you off the deep end? <laughs> it wasn't the deep end. It was just kind of like I tried to like be in a relationship and do it. And he said he was supportive. But when it came to doing the things that I needed to do to like get it going, it was he would throw like an attitude for no reason. And then it was just kind of like, well, you know what? I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue, like, I'll just not do it. So basically talking about the conflict and you trying to get your adult field mm -hmm. career. Okay. I would have started a lot sooner, but... So you always had the thought of doing it. Well, I was approached about a year ago to mm -hmm. do it. And, um, and, and the guy, I mean, he was just so great. Like, he kept checking up on me and, you know, asking, you know, am I doing okay? And, you know, that kind of thing. And so, like, I tried to schedule things with him, but it just never worked out because of my ex. And then I was just kind of like, okay. For sure. Yeah. So, you know, in the past, had people reaching out to you, kind of telling you that you would be good in that industry. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Have you always considered yourself a sexual person? I mean, actually, not really. Mm. Like, it's, it's super crazy. Like, I, I am very sexual, but I feel like porn has helped me kind of get even more expressive, you know, in my work. So, yeah. you know, like trying different things too, you know what I mean? So I've actually really enjoyed it, and it's kind of freeing compared to what I normally do, so... So porn is like a way of expressing yourself. Yeah, definitely. Do you separate the work porn from your just natural sexuality? Is it two different things or do they help each other? They help each other, but I mean, porn, that's a business transaction. For sure. You know what I mean? I Everything that I do on the porn side, that's all business and strictly business. I don't do anything off camera. I make sure everything's done on camera. Um, you know, that kind of thing. And so, uh, I started working with King's Angels and what's great about working with us is if, if you shoot with us, you know, as far as scenes and that kind of thing, if you bring your hard drive and you bring your phone or whatever, we can airdrop everything to you or we can drop box it to you or we can put it on your hard drive right then and there. You don't have to wait for your content mm. because I've done some shoots to where, like, I've had to wait for months, and I'm just like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, definitely. That's not cool. No, nah, I'm, I, you know, I shoot interviews, <laughs> everything, you know, I do content for people. Not that type of content, but people, when they work, you know, people want to, just as much as the person who's, 
who's putting it together is excited about getting to there. Excited yeah. too, so you got to keep that in mind. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And it and if it was something that was talked about, then you need to follow through yeah. on it. You know, it's just it's business. You have to keep your word. Yeah. Because in business, that's all you got. Yeah. Is it? Is it? <laughs>